Hey Fixes, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Fixer.com and in today's video I want to quickly show you um, the, the value of independent work. So what are the benefits of being an, a freelancer or an independent worker? And I actually uh, summarized a report uh, called, like it's, it is actually a Mac McKinsey study called Independent Work, Choice, Necessity and the Gig Economy. So they had, uh, had analyzed a large data sets and uh, questioned uh, many, many, like thousands of uh, freelancers uh, in the US uh, why they work and what, what is the, like, What are the, the what are some insights about their uh, work uh, day? So and uh, and I summarized the result in this study. You can also check out the uh, blog post about the topic. I actually get, I actually wrote a whole uh, article um, um, summarizing the most uh, relevant statistics and facts uh, about this article. So I will give a link in the description below. But I want to just quickly analyze the benefits uh, or uh, um, uh, like the main points of being an independent worker. So first of all, um, they compared independent workers uh, against uh, employees, right? So you have self-reported um, um, data by employees and self-reported data by independent workers. And the result shows clearly that independent workers love the topics in their work more than employees. Okay, it's no shit Sherlock, right? <laughs> Because uh, independent workers usually have much more freedom to choose the topics they work on, right? So if I want to work on crypto uh, currency stuff, I can, I can choose to become a crypto a blockchain developer, right? As a freelance coder. So I'm, I'm, I work, I already work in a, uh, in an area that I find really exciting and where I'm passionate about. And there's no downside to this, right? Only upside. Because if I'm excited about the topic, I know more about the topic and I can, uh, like this excitement actually swaps um, uh, infects other people, uh, my clients, uh, they actually perceive, they feel that I'm excited about this, that I'm knowledge about, knowledgeable about the topic and I quickly raise to the top, to the top 5% of the coders in the field or the freelancers in the field. So this is actually, this is like a, um, a really, really big benefit, right? You, can, you get to work on the topics you love and by doing so you become more successful. The second point is independent workers are more satisfied with their work life overall than employees. So this is not only like this is the overall work life, right? Not only specific uh, sub areas such as not being forced to go to commute or working from home or uh, don't having a boss uh, who actually uh, uh, like schedules some stupid activities such as meetings, pointless meetings and stuff. Uh, so there are many, many like uh, specific advantages of being a freelancer and being able to um, uh, to to work on the things you find most relevant for your own business rather than working on stuff your boss or your shareholders uh, force you to work on, right? Uh, but it is also about like overall life satisfaction, work-life satisfaction. You can, you actually also get to choose the people you work with. And this is it's a huge deal, right? In the, if you're working in a job, you cannot decide about your co-workers. And if you have some co-workers, so for example, my dad, he had a co-worker, uh, who he actually hated, right? So they hated each other. And they just, uh, like, they argued 20 years or so. And it was really frustrating for my dad because the co-worker was also his immediate uh, supervisor. So they hated each other work to working in the same room for 20 years, right? I mean, of course, uh, this has big, this has really significant negative uh, um, um, consequences for your life satisfaction. And that's why actually, like this was one of the main uh, motivator. So this overall work life satisfaction, uh, why I became a freelance developer and why I started to offer this course to uh, become a, a freelance uh, developer. I will also give a link in the description below if you're interested in joining the course and become a highly paid freelance developer in the uh, Python space or the blockchain space or any other space for that matter. So I focus on teach teaching the business skills that are actually uh, transferable among different technical skills. Okay, the third point is independent workers are more satisfied with the number of workers, uh, number of hours they work uh, than employees, right? Employees, they need to, when I was an employee, I, uh, doctoral researcher in the, uh, working for a government uh, uh, institution, right, university, I uh, was working like 10 hours a day, I had two hours commute time and I had one hour break, right? So this is like, Uh, 13 hours <laughs> in a given day. So I, I was uh, like, I was away for 13 hours every day. And when I came home, I was exhausted. I couldn't do anything else. And when I started uh, becoming a freelancer and creating my own business, I realized that working four productive hours every day is, is sufficient 
actually to thrive, to create a business that thrives if you do it smartly, right? You can right, like in four productive hours, you can you can do more than most people can do in 11 hours, right? Because at work you are too too distracted and you just sit there. For example, if I need if I'm tired, I just sleep. So that if I work, I work very productive, product, product, productively, right? And this actually increases my product, productivity. But at work, I could never sleep. I mean, this is just not possible. The boss will just, I mean, they, they in, more, in the vast majority of companies, you cannot sleep at work. So this is just one example of many examples that actually uh, reduce productivity at work and that reduce the number of hours you need to work as a freelance developer. The next point is independent workers feel more well independent and self-reliant than employees yeah they are independent workers so they are more independent right this is one of one of the big factors also for happiness so if you look in happiness research independence and self-reliance is one of the big like pillars of being a, of leading a more happier life uh, a happier life um in the next point independent workers significantly enjoy their work atmosphere more than employees also like not a not a very surprising fact because you can Uh, create your own work atmosphere, right? I mean, I'm in the forest now. <laughs> so let's go back. I will show you uh, the environment. So this is like the environment. I'm uh, I'm currently in a parking lot and I'm just going going to for uh, going for a walk in the forest. So I get to choose my working environment as a as a freelancer. I can I can work from wherever I want. So of course, I mean, I'm more satisfied with uh, the work atmosphere. Next point is independent workers feel more empowered than employees. Yeah, I mean, you have more like clients rely on you. And so you are like more, you are the center of your own business, of your own small world. So you are more empowered. Next point is independent workers are much more satisfied with the creativity they can express compared to employees. This is often a result of the large, uh, of this big sizes for, of companies. So companies usually start hiring employees if they have reached a certain threshold uh, in size. But if you are a freelance, you are a one person startup, a one person business. So you you can do all decisions you can implement all decisions right away you can be creative and you can you can do whatever you want to increase your business or whatever you want to have more fun or more success or whatever you uh, want to achieve right and as an employee it is not as easy because if any employee so there are restrictions there are legal restrictions there are restrictions in terms of job roles and job positions and stuff right i mean you can in many cases in companies you just cannot Do whatever you want because you may disrupt some other job roles, right? And those people will hate you and they will lobby against you. And there's a lot of politics involved, right? Uh, that actually harms creativity. So if you are an independent worker, one person startup, you are much more uh, able to express your own creativity because you're more flexible. You have more degrees of freedom. Next one, independent workers love to be able to choose the hours they work. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is, we already had, right? We have like more time and more flexible time hours. Next point, and this one is a big point. Independent workers are more satisfied with their opportunities to learn and grow compared to employees. Um, yeah, this is one like uh, in many cases, uh, employees argue that they have more access to educational programs paid by their employer, but oftentimes they learn the wrong things, the wrong skills, right? And independent wor workers, they actually learn the right things, right? Uh, for example, selling yourself in the marketplace and learning the skills that are really in demand. So, for example, you will you would learn maybe machine learning frameworks or blockchain development, skills that are highly in demand and that are future proof as a result. Right. As an employee, you, you maybe learn you learn skills like, say, Apache, uh, Apache Hadoop, right? <laughs> Something like this. So some old frameworks that are already disrupted in the real world, but they just need to do it because Uh, some boss maybe read a paper that is like the latest thing, but the paper was already five years old. But only, but now the boss uh, tells the employee to learn about Apache Hadoop. Uh, the employee spends a couple of months doing it, and then they realize, okay, uh, th there's no point in using this outdated tool. So the mon months of work, months of learning, months of skill acquisition is just lost forever, right? And this is often the case. In um, If you're a freelancer or an independent business person, you actually learn the skills, like with higher likelihood, you learn the skills of a practitioner, the well-rounded skills of a practitioner. So this is actually, this is for your, for your whole career. It has big, big benefits to actually become a freelancer and focus on the skills you need to improve your business. It's as simple as this, right? Independent workers are more flexible than employees. Okay, uh, it's also like uh, um, play like it's 
it's all, all, all it's self-contained truth <laughs> um, independent workers are more satisfied with the recognition they receive this is a recognition is one other pillar of happiness research so you, so you have self-reliance and you have recognition and recognition is um is a big big pillar right because you get recognized you get the positive feedback by the environment and oftentimes if you work as an employee you don't get any feedback at all right maybe only negative feedback if you are in a negative work environment but as a freelancer you actually get all the positive uh, uh, reinforcement all the positive recognition you deserve so this is a big point as well Okay, the last point, the final point is independent workers are more satisfied with their income. This is because if you create your own business, you are your own shareholder. You don't need to share your productivity with some external shareholders, with your bosses, with other unproductive employees in your company. And you don't get an average among all the uh, uh, average productivity of all your uh, co-workers, right? You get the income you produce so if you are more productive you earn more if you produce twice the number of the, the amount of uh, work or results i should say you get paid twice as much money and um and this is actually big so independent workers there's no upper ceiling uh, like what is the upper ceiling of creating a business you can, even as a freelancer you can scale you can use agencies later on you can automate automate many parts of gig creation and maybe create a whole software as a service business based on uh based on the service you once provided as a as an, uh, one person freelancer right so you can like you can arbitrarily scale your value proposition because in business there's no upper ceiling you can just in, increase your income year after year after year and never stop so this is of course i mean as an employee it is not possible to do this actually as an employee if you double your product your output your results you don't get paid double you get paid paid maybe 20 percent more right you get the promotion and you get paid an, uh, an increased income of 20 percent by by in, increased by 20 percent uh, but you don't don't get paid double the uh the income right even if, even even if you deserve it you can be lucky to actually get an increase in salary but oftentimes if you are as an employee if you are very productive bo bosses just want to keep you in your current role they don't want to promote you right because you are already a, the pro most productive person in your role so they don't benefit from promoting you and losing you so oftentimes they want, just want to keep you in uh, your role so it's also not like uh, you also should, like, in a, a, as a freelancer, you you actually don't have this issue at all. So these are a lot of benefits of becoming a freelance developer. Again, check out the course. So this is from from the course website. Uh, become a freelance developer. It is the world's number one uh, freelancer course, and uh, yeah, the average pay of a freelance developer in Python is 108k, according to Zip Recruiter. You can check it out. Uh, um, I will give a link in the description below. And yeah, thanks for uh, watching the video. If you like those videos about freelancing and creating your own coding business, then uh, also give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment if you're interested. If you have any particular question, and yeah, I will. Um, I read all comments. I don't reply to all comments, uh, but yeah, I'm really grateful. For, uh, to have you here and I truly love and appreciate you. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye!